Welcome back to the Rideau Law Firm YouTube channel. Uh, today I want to chat a bit about what lawyers do in a business sale or uh, transaction. Um, so we have a flat fee business sale transaction package and doing some videos to kind of explain what we do. Um, may, check out the description. We'll link to the page about all the details and whatnot. So anyways, let's jump right in. What do, what do lawyers do in a business sale? Um, so it, it's a number of things obviously, right? And every attorney and a person involved in the business sale, like a broker, has their own specialty in their own lane, right? So I'm going to go over some of the more typical things that lawyers do in small business transactions. This can vary, of course, depending on your needs and, and what attorney you're working with. But just want to go over the highlights. So at the outset, you can have an attorney be involved with you even in the negotiation phase. So making the general inquiries. This is usually what a broker will help you with nowadays, but sometimes there are certain industries, maybe or certain businesses that maybe an attorney is going to, is best to be involved in, at, at the beginning, right? At the outset. Um, if it's a highly regulated industry or if there are considerations, you know, on, on other legal matters that, that you want to get your attorney involved, it's helpful to have the attorney step in in the negotiations they could take lead they don't necessarily need to take lead but it's it's nice when they can be involved um and kind of issue spot find concerns find issues before you get too far down the line right down the process of buying a business so that's what they do at the beginning i'd say i would say um the next step is a lot of drafting so this is going to be things like drafting your letter of intent drafting your memorandum of understanding drafting the purchase agreement, drafting the bill of sale. Um, there's other ancillary contracts in there, things like uh, maybe the lease, depending on the landlord who you're dealing with. They may already have it, but you may have to draft one yourself or a lease assum assumption. Um, they also will probably have to help you with some aspects of the employment, uh, whether that's full employment contracts or just revising what's there uh, or understanding what's there and putting together maybe policies and guidelines for your, for, for the operations. Once you assume it, um, things like that. Um, some, some attorneys will also handle escrow services. This used to be very common in the past, but I'll tell you, it's, it's exceptionally difficult. Now, um, my law firm, we don't do, we don't offer that any longer. We may in the future again, but frankly, banks have just made it exceptionally difficult for us to send and receive funds for clients. Um, and it's just, it, it's not something that we, we like doing or comfortable. It's, it's very time consuming. Um, frankly, you're better off doing it yourself with your own bank. Cause I know you, you're probably sending it from the business account or whatever. Um, and they're going to ask less questions probably, uh, at least it seems that way when I've handled it. It's just been the last 10 years since I've been, um, practicing, it's become very difficult, very difficult to, to handle escrow. So uh, if you have an attorney who handles escrow, great. Congratulations. Um, give them some grace. <laughs> if the bank's probably going to um, gonna have some holding periods and things like that that are not going to be easy to deal with. So, um, yeah. So after the drafting part becomes like due diligence and helping you and maybe as a buyer go, go through and understand what you're getting, understand if there's any legal issues, right, any type of of uh, concerns that might crop up throughout the whole business. Um, yeah, but so that's due diligence period. I would say as a, as a seller, uh, seller's attorney, they can help you prepare all those documents, right? Making sure that the buyer gets their due diligence item and make sure that the, that the transaction is proceeding as planned, right? So a lot of times the attorney will step in basically as a quarterback, right? Their quarter, I, I, I use that term with my clients, like, Look, we're going to quarterback the transaction for you, frankly. We're going to make sure everything's organized. We're going to make sure people are doing what they're supposed to um, and making sure that you get a smooth and complete transaction, right? We don't want any stumbling blocks or any type of uh, hurdles that come up at the last minute that, uh, you know, everyone freaks out or something, doesn't know what to do. So, um, yeah, so due diligence, quarterbacking the transaction and then, of course, closing, right? Handling that final piece of the puzzle where you exchange keys, right? 
you exchange the the, the checks um, and move on, right? And any final cleanup or, or uh, tidying up of matters, that might be things like vendor contracts or, um, you know, on the franchise side, just making sure there's some franchise uh, issues are, are, are cleaned up, right, with franchise agreement or training, thing, approval, stuff like that. Um, so really, in general, it, it's just extra hands, right? It's extra hands on deck. You'll have somebody who is probably done this before, right, as an attorney who, who understands the legal framework for the transaction, who can help you understand the steps that are involved in different issues from either whether that's legal or taxes or other third parties that you're involved with, right, franchisors or landlords, whatever. So that's, uh, that's it in general. I just want to share a little bit about what lawyers do. We've had that question come up. Um, sometimes we're necessary, sometimes not. If you're a sophisticated business owner and you got, you know, a lot of your stuff knocked out, maybe you don't need us and that's fine. Not, not a problem. I would say most small business owners though, probably would benefit from having folks on their side. So check out our, uh, flat fee business sale and uh, transaction package. Um, we do them all the time. We're, we're happy to jump in with you and, and be on your team, guide you through that process, make sure it's a seamless uh, transaction for you. And if you have follow-up questions, reach out. We'd love to chat with you, see if we can be a fit for you. Till next time, take care.